Yo, what's up guys? We got Pogame here. Today we are back on the OU ladder. And I'm actually using the same team that I used the other day with uh, Band of Dragonite, Band of Melmetal. I had so much fun last time and it's honestly a bit of a busy day for me. I guess that's the right word that I'm looking for. It's a bit of a busy day for me today. So I want to try and uh, at least record a video and I guess I can find a team on my wall. But I've just been playing with this team on like a bunch of different alts and just having fun and playing OLT people and uh, yeah I, I mean it's just been a lot of fun so I kind of want to just keep going with it if I can my Weavile looks pretty deadly here they do have a ditto uh, this is stall obviously um try to think what's the best way to break this I mean my Magnezone's really good too outside of the fact that they have this damn Shedinja which walls my team but it's still possible I feel yeah, it's definitely possible. I like Feeny a lot. Uh, we're going to, uh, you know, if you guys enjoy this video, feel free to subscribe, obviously, you know, leave a like and all that stuff too. And yeah, I'm gonna attempt to uh, hopefully win this game. Zone is gonna be really good here, but let's just get right into it. I'm just gonna be a chill live. It's really, why are you in a balloon? <laughs> That's funny. I'm just gonna nature's bad, it's the ditto. I mean, it hits everything on their team, so. I guess besides Shedinja, which obviously doesn't care, but Shedinja's a really weird one too because I do have the Misty Terrain on my side, so I'm honestly not entirely sure what the Shedinja wants to do uh, as they hex me. Oh, that's cute. That's 16. <laughs> oh, you turn here as Ditto comes out. The, well, the Ditto on the balloon, so that's cool because they're a uh, freaking Rotom fan. Uh, that's cool though because they, uh, they do get to see my set. Uh, however... <laughs> I have a friend over here and they are very very threatening we're gonna SD because we have one turn of Misty Terrain and if the Corviknight has Rocky Helmet that means it doesn't have Shed Shell so Magnezone can trap it so I'm gonna SD here as they go Clefable uh, that's a good mid ground too I could have triple axled right into Clef and smashed it but I obviously did not I will make the Melmetal play though just because it doesn't care about status because of Misty Terrain and whatnot and uh, I'm gonna proceed to go for a double iron bash here they may not go hard into Shedinja considering I could have a status move. Oh no, they don't care. They do not care at all. all right, this game's gonna be a little bit difficult because... Yeah, this game's gonna be a little bit difficult. I'm gonna taunt them right there as they go for Willow. Uh, anticipating me to want to double around and we can go Lando here. Obviously most of my team isn't affected by this. The Shedinja, it kind of like... It's, it's not strong by any means. I obviously cannot go for the toxic there. They make a good they make a good uh what's it called? A good play by staying in. I could have defogged away I guess the terrain and try and toxic them. But yeah, we're gonna still go for taunt here as they go toxapex. Huh. What's your are you shed shell? You have to be shed shell. I mean otherwise I'm going for whirlpool here. They only have eleven hexes left on their I mean, I'll find out as they go for knockoff. They're 100% shed shell, right? You gotta be. Why would you make this play otherwise? Shook off the taunt. You have to be shed shell, right? I'm just gonna taunt, expect them to switch, exactly. And we're gonna make the landers play. It's gonna be, I mean, that, that regenerator damage on Toxapex is really important. Alright, I think I, I see how I'm gonna play. Uh, will you turn once more? They should not allow me to toxic them, especially because they can't touch me here. That would be a will, uh, really bad risk with that Pokemon. So if there's Shetshell on that mod and this Pokemon comes out here. I'll make the Magna Zone play now. Click Thunderbolt. I, I'm not revealing that I have Flash Cannon just yet, if I can help it. Uh... Toxic, Willow is Hex. We can go out into Weavile here. We can click Triple Axle now if Clefable wants to come hard out. Because if it's special defensive, I mean, if we're, no matter what it said is, like if I get all three hits, like it's it's wrecked, right? Exactly. So, uh, they do have that Pex, like I said. I don't think they stay in. I'm actually going to go for Knockoff. Anticipating them want to go Corviknight, which is the Shed Shell, or Toxapex, both of which I'd be happy to get rid of. It is the Rocky Helmet set, so we know they're going to go for U-turn here, uh, most likely. But we go Lanners to not allow them 
uh, to have an opportunity to heal with that Pokemon as they go ditto. And uh, it's very important that I do not get toxic on this Landorus. So, uh, I'll go back out to ditto on uh, Landorus on what I'm expecting to be a U turn as they go for an Earthquake. Oof. I want to go Weavile so badly this turn, but no, I cannot. Uh, Melmetal's the safest mid ground. No, you're going to go for U turn here. I think I just go for a random Thunder Punch though, just in case they try and bring out Tox Effects or, or Corviknight. Obviously, Shedinja is free as hell, but, you know, just in case. I want to keep you healthy. Alright, we'll go Weavile either way though, because Hex isn't going to do too much. And they go for that, so that's amazing. Uh, so this should be another free uh, a free knock for me as well. Uh, Pex being knocked is incredible. It actually gets two AK out, so that's awesome as well. Uh, we're gonna double the Magna Zone, anticipating them to want to go out into Corviknight here. It doesn't make sense to sack Tox Effects. The next hit, the next hit knocks you out. Uh, so instead of letting my my uh, my Weave out or having to go for SD and trying to go for the three roll versus Corviknight here, uh, we're gonna go Magna Zone and keep up offensive momentum. Yes. So there goes Corviknight. Perfect. Could be. So Corviknight's gone. Obviously, shouldn't just still a freaking problem. Uh, but look at my dual wing beat. Oh, awesome. See, the difference between you and me is I have an extra belt. So, mine is doing more. Plus, I can win a speed tie. So, all they did was, like, effectively give me a Pokemon that beats them. Yeah, and all I gotta do is win a speed tie as well. So, like, look how much I do. Look how much I do. Plus, my Earthquake is absolutely free now, too. So, and I won the speed tie. Awesome. So, there's a giant threat gone. Dual Wing Beat is looking even better, better. <laughs> Ooh. I'm gonna do it again. Alright, they hex there. But. Should be a free Dragonite. I believe Dual Wing Beat messes something up. Don't know if Toxifex takes us too well, considering what item it has. And Clefable surely doesn't, because I'm Choice Band, so. Ooh, Choice Band Dragonite, what a good Pokemon. Go ahead and show me the Bayful Bunker right now. What a good Pokemon, Choice Band Dragonite. Hey, go and get to a KO Blissey. <laughs> I shouldn't risk this miss right now, but I'm going to just because it's 1.30, 1.29 a.m. And I'm not trying to uh, be here for a hundred years, you know? Uh, so, Earthquake is free, as I mentioned before. But so is Tapu Fini. Now we can go for Whirlpools. Once more. And they have effectively given me Toxapex. So, we Whirlpool. We Taunt. Nature's Madness, and then Dual Wing Beat wins the game. So my opponent was playing uh, under the assumption that I would expect Shedinja at that point, but I guess it ended up being a dual edged sword, right? Because I didn't give a damn, uh, and they gave me Tox Specs. So awesome. At that point, it should be over. All I gotta do is taunt you. They're good, to, they're smart to go Clefable because they get a little bit of recovery here. Uh, never mind. Go right for the Moonblast again, just in case they double tickle Fable here. Literally does not matter what Shedinja does. All I gotta do is go Weavile and click Knock Off. I don't know why I feel like they are Focus Sash. Um, that does not do enough. Dual Wing Beat wins the game, so I'll, I'll risk the Triple Axle here. Basically, I just gotta get two. Yeah. That should be game. Good game, dude. Nice. So, I mean, there you got to see Choice Band Dragonite put in work versus Stall. And the combination of Life Orb Weavile just being really, really good. Can I get a good game back? If your name is Guatemala, I'm married to a Guatemalan. Like, was, nah, I'm just kidding. I don't, I, don't, I don't care if you say good game back. I do not. I don't even care about saying good game, really. That was just a fun game. I thought it was really cool because 
they made really good plays and then they made some plays like going ditto as opposed to Shedinja. I, I understand the thought process, but I feel like that was really greedy because, I mean, they won every speed tie up until the end where I won the speed tie that killed them. Um, so that was just, I think, I, I don't know, I was just, I think it was just a little bit greedy on my opponent's part personally. But their Shedinja set was cool. I almost thought they were focus ash, I'm gonna be honest, because uh, even though you can run heavy duty boots and their defog is only, what, well, two mods technically, right? Because they have Corona and then they have Ditto, which can be whatever, and defog is definitely fits under that criteria of whatever. Um, do I not have a game? Yeah, ladder's taking a while too. Even my alts have been taking a while. Identify this Pokemon. This is gonna be a breeze for me. It's a Voltorb. Ah, how simple. It's a Pokeball, without a doubt. Obviously, it's an Electrode. And the answer is a... Subscribe to Pokeame. Ah! Uh, to get some games. But I decayed as well. Uh, I have not played since I got to 1930 last time I used this. Uh, so I don't think I've played any OU at all. So as you see, we decayed in, what was that, five days? To 1880-something. So, ooh, I got Blim again. Have fun, brother. Always have fun, bro. So it looks like Blim is practicing. So I believe Blim and I are one and one uh, at the moment. I'm fast Melmetal, which is not going to get him. He does have Scizor, which is a giant threat to uh, this type of team. And obviously Clefable is a little annoying too. But I love Lanners early. Uh, if he's that Glaciate Victini, that's going to be a problem. Lead Scizor, uh, which I'm always tempted to click Earthquake on. Uh, the... I don't, basically I don't deal with his team very well, he's smart to go this, which is probably going to knock me off. I'm going to go for Toxic either way, because Torn is just a pain as well to deal with. It's interesting because my Weavile is still stupid good versus him as well. So I go Weavile here. Now his is more than likely faster than me, but either way I click knock off. Actually, do I triple Axel once? I, that might be better, because if he goes Clef first, and if I break Clef, the uh, uh, dual wing beat is still really good either way. Yeah, actually, it's better just to knock, regardless of what my opponent does. Oh god, that, that took... <laughs> that did not take that very well. Uh, so, I mean, I know that for a fact if I get three, I can knock it out. And Gastrodon is technically annoying, considering it... Uh, Gastrodon is annoying, considering it stops me from whirlpooling his entire team. So I'm actually going to go for this triple axle here. I think I'm going to get one. Oh, 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 I got two. Ah. Uh, three does 68, which is not good for me. A little bit unfortunate right there. We'll go Fina here and we'll click uh, Taunt. That way he can't recover. I'm glad I didn't get one, though. One is just pathetic. Uh, we click Taunt here. I'm going to Whirlpool off the assumption that he doesn't have U-Turn because... Well, he did, he would have clicked it versus Weavile, right? So he definitely has it. I think that Magna Zone is really, really strong here. I'm just going to go for Nature's Madness. As he more than likely... I'm actually not even sure what he brings out now because this is the mod that you want to knock me. He went for U-Turn so uh, I couldn't go Landers on the knock, which makes sense. Man, I didn't want a game where I stood up a little bit. I, I wanted a game where... Where I could just chill leaning back on my chair and just not care. There's Magna Zone, which is a smart play as well. So there's Zone, takes a lot of damage. Flash Cannon is free. Flash Cannon is hella free. Victini needs to stay healthy. My own Zone is also just incredible here, so... Okay, I'm going Lanners. I wouldn't normally make this play on zone. But the fact that I live just helps out so, so, so much. So uh, I'm going to U-turn just because if I Earthquake and he and he stays in and loses Magnum Zone, that's so, it's so bad for him basically to lose zone, right? So yeah, that's, that's exactly why. Okay, so I can go for knockoff here. Heat Wave will not knock me out, which is important. Uh, keeping track of my HP, obviously. And, uh... Knock off to Akio's Gastro, which makes me Whirlpool, which opens up that. Um, like, to Akio, this bad boy. Stop that. 
scissor, doesn't matter. Um, it's magnazone and it's magnazone fodder. So last time two did 33. It's exact same thing. Magnazone is at 50, so that's gonna open up my Mel Metal. That's really what I'm going for, right? Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna go for the roll again. I, I miss, which is better for me because I just don't take the chip. And this is cool because I should be able to go out to Tapu Fini here because he has he struggles with Tapu Fini a lot. He struggles a lot with Tapu Fini. I wouldn't be surprised if Torn actually ends up knocking me off here. I want to keep my choice ban on Dragonite because Dragonite's dual wing beat gets a kill every single time it comes out. Choice ban on Mel Metal is always really good too. And then Actini is what he's aiming at. All right, so I'll make this play. He can U-turn here. He may double knock off, but I'm gonna go for U-turn. It's actually worse for him to be in. So I would I should have went Feeny there on the U-turn, because it was worse for him to be in that turn. But I stand by what I did. Alright, so that should be a free U. Uh, I should be able to just click flash cannon now. I believe flash cannon's a body press will knock out everything. Uh, Victini's most likely gonna come in. Oh, he took a lot. Ooh, it's not very good. You could bolt strike here now, though, pretty freely. Dual wing beat's still looking good. Oh, this teeny's so annoying. A thunderbolt. Okay, good, good, good. He did bolt strike. Awesome. So I get the damage I need for Dragonite, which is very important. All right, sick. So we're gonna taunt here. That way he obviously can't recover as he goes torn. And get the damage on Victini. That did 24% to my Madden zone. So let me see. Bolt Strike does, that is choice ban. Oh my God, <laughs> he could have, he technically, I think he should have V created. <laughs> Personally, I think he should have V-created. Um, yeah, I'm going to Nature's Madness here. It sucks to lose my item there, but uh, keeping Torn low is, is just of, utmost, of the utmost importance. So uh, we're going to Moonblast here. He may go Magnezone. But I didn't want to Whirlpool into Gastrodon. Not that it really matters, but uh, Moonblast is relatively free, I would say. I guess, again, Magnezone is annoying. Yo, you're a demon for going Victini, bro. Ah, uh, well, cool. Oh, good. EV created. So I think I actually, I definitely outspeed him after, and this might just knock him out. Awesome. So we get rid of Victini. <laughs> great, 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 great. I am faster than this. I'm going to get a little bit more chip on this thing just so Double Iron Bash knocks it out. Perfect. And that should allow me to bring out my, uh, my, my weave out here and just click knock off and get a kill. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So my double iron bashes are gonna be scary. It was assault vest the whole time, damn. I think if I knock you off, I win the game with Mel Metal. But you definitely U turn here too. I think I go Dragonite actually and just do a wing beat spam. Because it gets a kill. On everything not scissor, technically. <laughs> um, if he's SD, it doesn't matter. I don't take anything either. It's a freaking good game. Ooh, this is some big damage. He loses the second I click uh, Iron Defense because Heat Wave will not knock out Magna Zone. And then Body Press will knock out that, and Flash Cannon will knock that out too, so. I think I just go for this repeatedly. He's playing off my miss, but I mean, provided I we have the exact same amount, so I don't technically need that many dual wing beats. I just gotta keep them low. Right, there goes Clef. That's one. Torn dies here too. I don't. I, I don't think he should have went Torn. Um, the reason being is that's not a win. With, he can't win if he goes Torn. If he knocks me off and Torn dies, then he cannot kill Magnezone. 
Yeah, so that should be game, I think, because you can't kill zone at that point. I just click dual wing beat again. They don't have hurricane, so I just click dual wing beat again. He tries to burn me, which is his wing con. That is fair. The second you come in, all I gotta do is click body, uh, iron defense and I win. So I just attack into this again. I don't think the crit matters. Yep, I just click iron defense here. And that should be able to knock out Gastrodon and that should be game. Uh, you don't do enough to me, your SD U-turn. So I just iron defense up again. And then Gastrodon dies. GG, bro. Yeah. You too, man. Oof. That was a good game, man. That was a good game, bro. These are some two intense games. Uh, the key turn was for sure... Uh, the key turn was for sure staying in on Victini. Um, he's a really good player, by the way. Uh, I'll, I'm going to take this as an opportunity to give him a shout-out. I've been watching a lot. I mean, you know what? Let's just... Uh, Let's just go to youtube.com uh, slash feed. Yeah, let's go to subscriptions. You're going to see some ASMR, okay? I'm not going to be like... Oh, shout out to Quang Chariot. Um, I'm sub to like everybody. Oh, shout out to Mr. Jamvad. Let me see if I can find him. Blim Pokemon. So, fantastic player. Uh, literally, well, I mean, you could see it, but I've watched... But, like all his vids this isn't like accurate timing as well because i watched them on my phone as you see I've, I've been watching a lot of his vids uh he's the probably person who also gave me the idea to put the rating in the uh in the titles as well uh just because he is uh well first off it looks hella good i never knew how, how good it looked like and I, I just i just enjoy watching his videos so if you would like to go in and check him out i'll leave his link down below but yeah i uh those are two really good games like i i like i said the the Toxic on Torrent ended up being big. I want to go through this replay real quick. Uh, first turn. Wait, how did skip to end? Uh, I'm just going to upload a share replay just so I can go through it real quick. Because uh, I'm going to take like five more minutes of you guys' time. But uh, but yeah, if y'all want to sub to him, you should definitely check him out. But uh, we put this on uh, dark mode for those people that watch at night. So like... That Victini, I was honestly under the uh, impression that it was going to be, uh, not choice ban, but, uh, heavy duty boots because a lot of people have been running that as of late with like Glacier and stuff. He also ran it as well. Uh, but, so that definitely played a key part in why I made the Magazone play I did, but I still would have made the same Magazone play even if he could switch up moves and then I go out into Tapu Fini after. But I think Blimp should have done that turn was... For sure, click V create because my pivot to Victini, I mean, my pivot to, uh, to Tapu Fini can only take so much. You saw it took 40% from abandoned V create, right? So, like, imagine like the turns where he was U turning and getting chip and Tapu Fini being annoying to the team, uh, just doing that. So, that's why I sometimes. Ow. Oh, that didn't. I hope you guys didn't hear that. But that's why I like certain things like that. And I tried to play Revolve very, very aggressively. I think this game would have been really different too. Like, I don't think it would have been as long as it was. Uh, if I was able to get three hits right here as well, because if Gastrodon's gone, I can click Whirlpool very, very freely with Tapu Fini. And every single time Torrent comes in, if it does, even if it knocks me off, like as long as I, or if, even if I click Nature's Madness every single time Torrent comes in, as long as I'm weakening it, it's it's gonna be worn down by poison and everything. And that's just gonna make make a key difference in how I play. Like just that mod being dead. Like imagine just what it can do. Uh, so what was it? Nature's Madness, it's a, yeah, I didn't care about him knocking me off that turn initially, because uh, I did expect the U-turn, uh, but that was a good flash cannon, I uh, U-turn out always, I brought him this, uh, I did decide to risk the triple axle, makes a really good read going Scizor, obviously I missed there, uh, we get a land on Force to sack it, uh, and this is where uh, Iron Defense Zone, not always running, uh, flash cannon comes into play, because he's seen this team as well, played with it twice now, and so Iron Defense Zone doesn't always run Flash Cannon, but this one happens too. And uh, this was a really big turn too. I, like I said, I, I stayed in because if he Bolt Strike into Tapu Fidi, I lost. But if he V created into it, I then mean, I could actually get some chip off on it. So yeah, we double here as well. You know, I found out they're banned obviously. 
Um, you see this, get that chip that I need for the end game. This was a big, this was a big turn too, me staying in here because because of the uh, defense drops, Robo actually did some real damage. So Victini dies, and I got the chip on Magna Zone too, so that way I can double air bash and dual wake me. Because that was what I was going for, right? I wanted to weaken that. We already weakened Clef. We already weakened Gash and all, and Victini was already gone. So that obviously opens up for the dual wake me end game that you guys got to uh, see. So let me see this. Let me see this. There we go. Extra Belt Zone is definitely the strongest set. And obviously, you know, it just came down to, to Magnus Zone being there. Him, him never being able to recover uh, with his Gash and all, obviously, it'll be a huge. And this Scizor, it'll be a liability. I really like this Scizor, uh, especially versus Kiram teams, because some people are weak to Kiram. Not me. I'm never weak to Kiram. But uh, I really like uh, it. Uh, I just really like it versus those. Uh, and Magnus Zone was so good in this game. I think Magnus Zone was really good in the, the first game as well. I don't remember too much. <laughs> It's, it's been a while, but I hope you guys all enjoy it. I know I use the same team twice, but I'm very comfortable with this team. And even in matchups where I feel like are very tough for me, like that uh, that stallish matchup, I guess, because they had obviously double shed shell, which could make a difference. You got to see how Weavile still put pressure on, and Weavile was able to get rid of the shed shells and not necessarily sweep, opening up for Magnazone, opening up for a Whirlpool top of Feedy. So. Uh, yeah, it's a bit shorter of a video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll get you guys a longer video tomorrow. I'm also planning on doing uh, a few movie type videos too real soon. Don't worry, I know everybody and their mom has been asking for DP the movie, so do not worry. That video will be coming out uh, very soon-ish as well. And uh, yeah, that's it. I will see you guys next time. Peace, everybody.